be still and know that i am god psalm 46:10 says and uh, that is the life of rest and uh, that rest means we have as we have put the topic today resting from the works of our, our own self to do the works of the lord that comes actually clear in hebrews only hebrews chapter 4 if you read further what is this rest verse 9 and 10 it says for there remains a sabbath rest hebrews 4 9 and 10 for there remains a sabbath rest for the people of god there is a sabbath rest just like in genesis uh, 2 1 and 2 we re- re- read about the sabbath god rested on the seventh day that was sabbath that word hebrew word means rest so that sabbath rest is there for the people of god for the one who has entered his rest one who has entered god's rest has himself also rested from his works that means our our own works our own works of the self when we are doing works from our own self we will be very agitated and anxious and uh, you know we will be very worried and vexed about like martha <laughs> martha was doing uh, preparations for the lord only but she was very bothered and worried about so many things distracted about why are you distracted this is this uh, you know uh, Uh, the word there is perispavo or something uh, let me see i have written uh, noted that down in luke 10 if we turn to luke 10 jesus is asking martha 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 uh, verse 40 uh, 39 we read uh, luke 10 39 uh, she had a sister called mary who was seated at the lord's feet listening listening to his word that is the rest the uh, you know mary enjoyed the rest at the lord's feet listening to the lord's word <laughs> not that mary was job i was idle and didn't do anything but after hearing from the lord of course she would have done she of course would have done many things uh, in that restful attitude and uh, not that you know uh, entering this stress doesn't mean that we are very passive and uh, we do not do anything we are idle and quiz and nothing like that no i mean jesus was the most active person Uh, who walked on the face of the earth no <laughs> jesus says in john 5:17 just as the father is working i am also working so he didn't work from himself uh, john 5:19 says that i i can do nothing of my own initiative but it is something i see my father doing so wa- father is working so i am also working john 5:17 and 19 uh, i was referring to and here so the mary has entered the restful life <laughs> she is sitting at the lord's feet she and because she had the habit of listening to the promptings of the lord she uh, could accomplish great things for the lord she anointed the lord's body before his burial which the lord himself appreciated and which his uh, which the lord also commented that that would be proclaimed wherever the gospel is preached meaning that she broke uh, 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 the utmost treasure that which she treasured the most she broke and poured it for the lord so that kind of a sacrifice living sacrifice giving ourselves whatever we value the most we give ourselves as a sacrifice before the lord and that is the uh, that is the sacrifice of mary that will be uh, proclaimed wherever the true gospel is preached wherever the true gospel is preached this kind of a surrender lavish surrender before the lord should be there and uh, that mary could do because she had this restful attitude of listening to the promptings of the lord when we are in the rest when we are in the holy spirit we will be at rest we, we, uh, uh, john says in revelation 110 i was in the spirit on the lord's day and i heard the voice of the lord like a trumpet many a time we are not able to hear the voice of the lord because we are very restless uh, my sheep hear my voice <laughs> you know there was a cartoon which i which i hope uh, you most of you would have seen uh, the cartoon uh, depicts a sheep is uh, having uh, earphones and uh, so many gadgets around and uh, so much of noise around and the sheep is uh, uh, wondering why am i why am i not hearing the shepherd's voice <laughs> and the, at the corner of the cartoon of course the shepherd is uh, you know <laughs> uh, uh, shouting loudly and the sheep is not hearing because sheep is occupied and preoccupied with so many other things of the world so many a time we are, our heart is not at rest of course we can be very busy in our work and um, in our daily chores of life in our mundane things of life of course we, are, we, might, we of course we have to do many things and we have to do it very speedily promptly 
uh, we may have to rush to some places and we may have to be very uh, speedy in many things uh, as we work in the you know work circular work and all but at the same time even when we are outwardly working uh, we can be having a heart of rest uh, that is a mystery <laughs> you know spirit will be uh, you know our inner man our spirit is obeying the promptings of the lord and uh, spirit is very active and our soul is leaning on the spirit like a wean child and the soul will be having a restful smooth smooth uh, working and of course body is uh, you know performing many things speedily but our heart is at rest we are not agitated or anxious and that is you know even when uh, the there was storm in the lake uh, jesus was sleeping in the boat disciples were agitated jesus was so calm <laughs> so that is the life of rest my peace i give to you not like the world gives my peace i give to you no, uh, peace i leave unto you uh, my peace i give to you not like the world gives let not your heart be troubled nor let it be dismayed uh, john 1427 jesus peace of mine jesus peace not like the world gives world's peace is actually when everything is smooth we'll have a, a kind of uh, apparent peace that is the worldly peace <laughs> the political peace or anything but Jesus gives us a peace that is a deep rest in our heart even when things go wrong even when there will be much grief or sometimes bereavement some you know uh, so many painful situations that we go through but deep inside we can experience a peace a peace that surpasses our understanding philippians 4:7 it is not according to our logic but a, a peace not uh, not against our logic but beyond our logic and uh, so coming to uh, luke 10 there uh, me, but martha was distracted uh, that word distracted perispavo i was saying the greek word no so i had noted it down here um, uh, you know holy spirit uh, inspired luke to use that word perispavo perispavo basically means uh, you know draw uh, you know peri means the periphery and uh, spavo means to draw Uh, peri means around and uh, uh, spavo means draw that means actually we are distracted with so many things of the periphery majoring on the minors and not uh, focusing on the lord who is the author and finisher of our faith but rather we are majoring on many many simple even many times actually even christian believers also also fighting with so many peripheral doctrines and they will be entering into so many controversies and they will be breaking their head over many many little things and uh, but the major thing of loving the lord with all their heart they are not interested in pursuing that so perispavo they are majoring on the minors that is uh, what to say they are beating around the bush or distracted with all her preparation that is unrest uh, and uh, jesus also says verse 41 martha martha you are worried and bothered about so many things but only one thing is necessary for mary has chosen the good part which shall not be taken away from her that uh, uh, mary uh, mary's rest is that uh, what to say the rest in the most holy place of the tabernacle with lord jesus alone with her and uh, martha is doing service service is the holy place and in the outer court of the tabernacle there are much activity and all but actually beyond the veil we need to enter the rest to we need to Uh, how to practically enter that trust you know we need to go beyond the veil to enter the most holy place in the same book of hebrews we uh, we would be seeing that verse in detail when we look at uh, uh, chapter 10 and all but of course of course we can see that great words uh, which has ministered to my heart and challenged my heart many a time hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 and 20 says about entering the most holy place most holy place of the tabernacle is the very place where god dwelt hebrews 10 19 therefore brethren since we have a confidence to enter the uh, holy place it is written there but actually it is uh, said about entering through the veil so it is denoting the most holy place by the blood of jesus by a new and living way which jesus inaugurated for us through the veil that is his flesh so that means there is a new and living way that is the way through the veil through the rent veil when jesus died on the cross the veil that separated the holy place from the most holy place that was rent from top to bottom top to bottom why because 
God only is doing from above, so from top to bottom it was run. And that veil was symbolic of Jesus' flesh. And uh, Jesus' flesh is actually not Jesus' body itself, because Jesus' body was not rent like that, but actually flesh speaks of our self-will. So Jesus always said in his life, not my will, but my father's will. John 6.38, I did not come to... uh come from came i did not come from heaven to do my will but my father's will who sent me uh, the will of him who sent me so when i say lord i do not want to do my will in anything i want to choose your plan to your, do your will when i want to choose to do my will and my selfish things then i will be restless you know that is a works of the self but when i can if i can die to myself die to myself means i, I surrender myself and say that lord i humble myself and surrender myself to you i do not want to uh, do works of myself but rather lord i want to do your works that means lord lord i was crucified with christ it is no longer i who live not myself who lives but christ who lives in me and the life which i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself up for me galatians 2:20 we know all know that verse so that is the life of us where i was crucified with christ and jesus is living uh, when i am i myself i am living when myself is on the throne of my life my life will be restless but when jesus is the king and uh, master of my life i am just a bond slave before him and say that behold the bond slave of the lord be it done to me according to your word like mary said in luke 138 then when i have that humble attitude then what will happen then the word of god like a two edged sword will come upon me my will is uh, you know like this horizontal arm of the cross and god's will is god's word that is a two edged sword the same hebrews 4 12 says about this two edged sword and this two edged sword comes cross my will crosses god's will and they say that lord not my will but your will and uh, then the uh, word of god which is like a two edged sword will uh, pierce and break my self will and uh, just like the veil was broke uh, veil was torn in jesus life and uh, you know in the most uh, in, uh, when jesus died it was torn completely actually the, in each step of jesus life it was being torn for those 33 and a half years and in our own life when we walk the way of the cross when we walk the way of the uh, of way, way of humbling ourselves before the lord continually what will happen is that the word of god the word of god is actually with the fire of the holy spirit fiery sword uh, flaming sword it says in genesis 324 the cherubim standing guarding the way to the tree of life with a uh, flaming sword the flame speaks of the holy spirit and the sword is the word of god and when i allow the anointed word of god when i hear the lord's voice instead of hardening my heart when i surrender myself and the anointed word of god comes and uh, slays my self will kills my self will and uh, the Lord, uh, the holy spirit not only uh, imparts death to my self will but gives me resurrection when there is death there is resurrection death in the flesh or death in the self will and there is resurrection in the spirit that is actually i am entering the most holy place through that rent veil that means i am flooded with the uh, uh, when i surrender myself in simple words when i surrender myself before the lord as a living sacrifice every part of my body my tongue and my eyes and my hands and my feet and my mind my brain everything lord i surrender all my possessions and relations everything when i surrender before the lord and say the lord not my will but your will or like that when i surrender myself then the word of god and the holy spirit will come upon me and the by the spirit i'll be able to put to death the deeds of the body it says in romans 8:13 if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body you will live that means actually the uh, the holy spirit uh, with the word of god uh, imparts that death to myself and there is a resurrection power the ho- power of the holy spirit will be flooding my heart and i'll be entering the most holy place in the presence of the lord i'll be experiencing the presence of the lord uh, so the experience of the real presence of the lord comes through this humbling ourselves and uh, oh, and fullness of the holy spirit all the other things are just emotions when we hear some a song or some we can be moved in our soul or emotions 
uh, oh, in a very emotionally challenged meeting, we can think that there is a presence of God with loud drum beats and keyboard and all. But uh, the true presence of God comes uh, when when we humble ourselves and when we are filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will display it to us, will take out of Jesus and display it to us, disclose it to us. That is what we read in John uh, 16.13, no? John 16. If I just refer to that verse and then we will conclude and hear from others. Uh, John 16. Uh, Jesus says the helper will come and he will uh, disclose it to you. Uh, dis- uh, take from uh, Take from me and disclose it to you. It says in verse 14, he, uh, John 16, 14, He will glorify me, the helper, the Holy Spirit will glorify me, for He will take off mine and will disclose it to you. The Holy Spirit will disclose Jesus to us. The Holy Spirit will take off Jesus' life, Jesus' nature and will uh, help us to see, behold the beauty of the Lord. Uh, when we say, t- turn your eyes upon Jesus, how will we turn our eyes upon Jesus? When we look unto the Lord in simple faith, it is the fullness of the Holy Spirit that will, uh, who will really help us experience the presence of the Lord. And in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, Psalm 1611. And in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of peace also. Jesus says, in the world you have tribulation, in me you have peace, John 16.33. So that peace is the trust. That is where we are entering into the most holy place. And uh, we'll meditate more on that in the coming weeks also. God will conclude in prayer. Loving, gracious Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for this blessed time. Thank you for your blessed word that exhorts us to encourage and encourages us to enter into your rest, Lord Jesus. Yes, Father, we want to die to this world and to live for you in the most holy place in that restful presence of God. Help us to rest from our own works and to do your works, Lord. Help us to reckon that, Lord, we were reckon that we were crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Help us to experience the reality of that by daily, continually surrendering ourselves and uh, Lord being filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit leading us step by step. And whenever we turn right or left, Lord, it is your promise that you will prompt us. This is not the way walk in this way like that you would prompt us Lord that through, your, through our conscience uh, sensitized by the word of God and the Holy Spirit you have promised us to guide us Father thank you Lord that you will set your eyes upon us and guide us Father thank you for your promises thank you for your word thank you for the fellowship thank you Jesus for everything we praise you Father we worship you we want to follow you such a blessed God that we have you are our King of Kings you are our Lord of Lords. Yes, Father, thank you. And fulfill all the needs of all those who are hearing. And we pray that, Lord, we want to seek your kingdom and your righteousness. And all uh, what we need, you will add to us. With your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious, sweetest name we pray. Amen.